carefully sit on this bed because I think all the bags are gonna fall off. One, two, three, four, five. Primark's back open, woo! I have actually already filmed a come shopping with me which I wanted to get uploaded ASAP pretty much as soon as I went into the store I got home and just shared with you guys what is new in. So if you missed that video and wanted to see some of the new in store finds from Primark then I will leave that video linked below. But if you are coming over from part one to see part two and to see what I actually picked up then hello, welcome. My name is Freya, I do used to do monthly Primark calls. Hopefully now, fingers crossed, we can get back into the swing of things with Primark. I did just want to mention as well, if you hear any banging or anything, we have our house being renovated and the top two floors are currently being ripped out. It's a process. I am vlogging it all. I'm gonna do a whole renovation vlog type series thing for anyone who is interested in seeing the house updates. And I'm also doing quite regular daily updates over on my Instagram home page, Freya Farrington Home, so that it's kind of like more real time seeing where we're at with the renovations. But anyway, whew, I'm tired. I have been running around all morning, but I'm excited to share with you the bits that I have got. So if I just put all the bags down, look at this beauty although it is everywhere. There's probably a lot more fashion-y things I want to go back and try and get my hands on, but imagine me trying to carry all this stuff around the store. They need trolleys, especially for the Trafford Centre one where you can pull straight up, park up. To have a trolley would be amazing. Um, so yeah, I probably would have got more fashion-y stuff had I've had the arm space. But nonetheless, um, I did pick up a few nice summery spring things definitely going to be going back for more. So let's just jump into it and share with you everything that I got. First things first is these cushions, which I saw so many people grabbing these cushions whilst walking around. I myself picked up two and I thought they'd be quite nice either, yeah, I was going to say either on the sofa or in this bed, bedroom, temporary bedroom. This is actually what will be the kitchen living area soon. Just have that little one there so I could put these two kind of behind it and put that little one in front. So I picked up two of those, they were £10 each. And then I picked up two of these cushion fillers at £1.50 each because I spotted some linen cushion covers. So I again picked up two of these and these were £2.50 each. So the fact that you can get the cushion fillers and the cushion covers separately is quite handy because if you don't need more cushions but you wanna switch out seasonally maybe, £2.50 and this is a really nice just very simple beige linen cushion cover. So I picked up two of those to go with those cushion covers. They'd be nice in a bedroom as like display cushions, but also on the sofa as filler cushions. So anyway, I picked up two for now. I picked up this beautiful lantern. This was only six pounds. There is pampas all over it. So if you can see that, just ignore that. I'll need to give it a little brush off. But it's very simply a kind of rope woven lantern outdoors or indoors this would be nice and it's got a little rope handle there as well dare i say it very the white company i feel like this would not look out of place in the white company at all so it looks very luxe very chic and a lot more expensive than what it was six pounds i thought was a bargain for this i think Something like this, even in Primark, I'd expect that to be sort of nine, 10 pounds, maybe even 11, so yeah, six pounds. There's the second linen cushion cover. I also spotted this. They had a larger wash bag and then this smaller one, which I thought I'd get the smaller one for holding my contact lenses in. So this is just very simply a really pretty creamy ecru color with a black zip and hardware and on the front it just has a little clear plaque thing that says less is more. So this is only three pounds. The bigger one that they had was five, made using recycled plastic. I feel like a lot of their clothing and homeware now is from Primark Cares. More sustainably sourced, that's the way that they're going. So I also spotted these in the wellness section, my absolute favorite section, the very, like minimal bamboos, whites, really nice soft organic cottons, and they have some like homeware bits in that section as well. So I picked up this net string shopping bag, again made using organic cotton. This was £1.50. I also got this larger wash bag. This isn't obviously the one I was talking about. The one I was talking about had the less is more on, but this was from the wellness section, and this is just 
plain and simple like kind of a creamy beige color again made with organic cotton this one was three pound i thought this was really generously sized for just three pounds okay i might as well just show you this so i can get this out of the way this is um three stems of pa pampas grass they had eucalyptus they had other kind of faux plants as well this one is obviously the pampas is two pound fifty a stem oh no i've just realized that one's two pound fifty that one's one pound fifty and that one's two pound fifty and to me they don't really look too dissimilar once i fluff them up and shake them up a little bit and have them set in a vase hmm i wonder why some of one pound fifty maybe it's the length of them okay some more homeware bits in here this is the vase that i was thinking about using for the pampas grass now it's quite a short vase um, I loved the kind of ribbed effect to it. So you can see that's almost like a fluted design. And it's really imperfect along the top. It's not like a perfect circle. It's just really, really pretty. So £5 this one was. Again, if I cut down the pampas, they, I think, would look really nice in there. Uh, but if not, I definitely can find another vase for it. Then I got this candle at £6. It's in green tea and bergamot. And it's in a really pretty, again, that kind of ribbed design. Uh, like almost bowl, ceramic bowl in white. I just, well, it's like an off-white, actually. It's more of like a really light grey. It does say cream. But yeah, anyway, really nice three wick candle. Smells good as well. Smells quite fresh, I think, with the green tea and bergamot. I just think it's quite nice for this time of year. So I thought I'd pick that up. I picked up this reed diffuser for £3.50. It has natural coloured wood reeds. This scent is eucalyptus and mint, which they have quite a lot of things of in this scent. If you can see up close, they've got little bits of pampas grass in it. So if this was kind of a re-diffuser in front of a vase with some pampas in, I thought that would look really nice. Then the last of the homeware bits that I got, there's actually no price on this, but I think from memory it was about a pound. And it's this little candle holder, glass candle holder, which you can have this way round with a like church candle in. Or you can have it this way round and have it with a little tea light in. So very versatile to suit the space that you need to fill. And I actually was thinking that way, even without a candle in, would look quite nice as more of like a paperweight or sat on top of like a little stack of coffee table books. I think all of these bits were from the wellness section, if I remember rightly. And I got a few different uh, like home fragrance things. So the first one is this this is in Retreat Cedarwood, contains essential oils. This is a scented room sachet, and I can smell this already, but I love the fact that it's in like a little jute bag, which you could maybe even repurpose and use, maybe put some Lenore Unstoppable beads in here for when the scent kind of starts to die out. Now this was two pounds, but I also picked up this one, which is in the Blush Jasmine. Now they didn't have the cedarwood, otherwise I would have gone for it, but this one was three pounds. And again, in a little kind of cotton canvas bag, this one comes in. And inside here is actually the essential oil drops itself in the Blush Jasmine but also little like kind of wooden scented balls that you would just simply drop on the essential oils and keep in a room or whatever in a drawer to just keep that smelling fresh. You can just keep dropping on the essential oils. You could also use that in an oil diffuser, oil burner. This one too was three pounds. And again, I love this because it comes in the little kind of cotton canvas bag would make a great little gift. I just feel like this bag just adds a nice little touch to what is otherwise just a plain and simple candle, really. Again, in the scent Retreat Cedarwood, and this is what it looks like. It's the brown kind of amber glass with the cork lid. Uh, you could keep in the cotton canvas bag until you use it. Oh, it smells good, this one. I prefer this to the Blush Jasmine. I love these little kind of cotton canvas bags for all sorts of things. Even little treat bags for Barney out on walks. You can just fill up a little bag like that or pop some poo bags in it and pop that in your pocket. So yes, that is that. And then the last thing that I got for homeware is this. This is again in the Retreat Cedarwood scent. At £2.50, this is a little box of 20 incense sticks. And, I mean, I didn't open it in store, but it says it comes with an actual, oh, cute, I love that, it's wooden, little incense holder. This is how it stands, a little kind of wooden 
stand with the hole in there that you put the incense stick in, light it, blow it out, and then it just diffuses the scent and, until it burns out and you get the little ash droplets drop on there. And they are the little incense sticks. So that is what they look like. 20 in there with the little incense holder. I think it's great value for money, £2.50. It's nice again to light one of those whilst you get in a bath because you get that real kind of smoky, fiery scent with it um, like burning. I just love incense, I love burning incense. The last two things I got before moving on to the fashion are for Barney, my little golden retriever puppy. Got him this treat dispensing toy for dogs for £3. They did have a bigger one in red at £6, but he actually has a ball bigger than this and he only can just about hold it in his mouth. So even regardless of the fact that the, it, this one has little holes in that you can put treats in for them to try and work out how to get them out, even just as a rubber ball, I think he'll look really like this because he'll be able to pick this one up. And then this, which I know is a cat toy, but I love the kind of wooden look to it. And a friend of mine who has a puppy actually has cats and the dog plays with the cat's toys. So... Um, yeah, we'll try it. We'll have him run around and chase chase this and see how he gets on, but £2.50 that one was. So let's move on to the fashion now. I'll show you some accessories and shoes first. And these, I saw these in silver and gold actually. I picked up the gold version just because that tends to be the metal that I opt to wear. But they're £2, little kind of chunky hoops, but they're like three-tiered, which I love. I did pick up a belt as well, just a plain and simple black belt with a square buckle. Love a square buckle, was kind of more rectangular. But this is uh, black with gold hardware. £3 this one was. I did get it in an extra small because I wanted it to be able to fit around my waist for like wearing summery dresses in or blazes that I feel could look good cinched in. And then I got some shoes. Now they had loads of Birkenstock inspired looking shoes of which I picked up the khaki single strap ones with the little gold hardware gold buckle there because I do actually have Birkenstocks with the double straps so I thought it'd be nice to try out the single ones and these are just five pounds I think the double strap ones were only six though so still a bargain and then these double strap ones are eight pounds and these are so gorgeous I absolutely love these they had these in flat form they had them in heeled form they had them in black as well and other colors white summer's dress which i did pick up a couple um this is my intention is to wear these with them these were eight pounds and then lastly these which are kind of similar in color i don't really know why i bought both of these i should have probably gone for the black ones in one maybe but anyway six pound are these yeah six pound in a uk six so they are a couple of pounds cheaper than the other ones and they've just got that crossover in like a nice padded foamy kind of texture so again they're not going to rub they're really comfortable which is what you need in the summer i'm slipping off the bed look oh, this is my new little setup seeing as though we've had to move our bedroom downstairs once they work on the top two floors so underwear i picked up a couple of basic sets these i have in black gray white love them so comfy i do go for the medium which is a 12 to 14 just so they're super comfy and I got a nude set, which I think will be really handy because I actually tend to opt for nudes most often with me wearing white quite a lot. And then I also got the chocolate brown colour. These are £5 for a set and they have so many colours. Okay, I remember this set from last time I was actually in Primark in the wellness section these ones were. They're little pocketed short PJs with the kind of like matching sage green vest top. Could definitely wear this vest top just as a vest top, but really beautiful, natural kind of organic cotton, really super soft and comfy set. And these were in the sale. So they were reduced from 12 pounds to just five, which I thought was a bargain, so I couldn't leave these behind. Um, I got them in a medium, 12 to 14. I just think that's nice and um, slightly looser and comfier to wear as PJs. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is actually one of the first clothing items I put in my basket. It's a jumpsuit, really super, super soft. This is the softest thing I bought. Like it's so soft. It's pocketed, kind of 
I want to say jumpsuit, but it's more like dungaree, harem style, just super baggy, loose and comfy. Lounging around the house, again, like I was saying, a nice summer's day where you want to be comfy around the house. And they actually had this styled on the mannequin with a top, which I also picked up. And it's a long-sleeved top. Now, I did size up to an XL in this one. And they had it styled up where by the mannequin was wearing this, and then this was tied around the waist, kind of cinching the waist. Then if it does get a little cooler, to throw it on over the top. So they did actually have shorts in this material and this set which i'm kind of regretting not picking up to be completely honest with you anyway the top is eight pounds and the jumpsuit is 12 pounds i also spotted this which again i remember from last time being in the wellness section and again this one was reduced this one was at 13 pounds originally and it was in the sale at just five pounds and it's made from sustainable viscose this one it's a wrap around like dressing gown so it's got pocket details it's got the little tie waist it's a shorter dressing gown it's just more lightweight white pjs under this or even around the house to wear it as a dressing gown but it looked more like a dressing gown slash cardigan with a nice little white dress underneath okay i did pick up a pair of trousers they had a matching blazer to this but it's quite a thin lightweight material where Whereas I prefer my blazers a bit more structured and a bit more to them. Now I do have a blazer from Zara in this sort of colour. But even if not, you could wear this a bit more casually with like a little t-shirt tucked in and some chunky trainers. £13 this one is, which I think is not bad for a nice pair of trousers. The last three items that I got are all summer dresses, spring summer dresses I'm going to say. Because when we had that bout of 22 degree weather or whatever it was... That was summer dress weather so spring dress weather so i got this one which is a bit longer which is perfect for that kind of transition into the warmer months when it's hot but you still want to have a bit more leg covered there is a zip up into it and i got a size 10 this one was 15 pounds and it does ha actually have a bit of texture running through it if you can see and it's double lined as well so it's not going to be sheer then i did pick up another white dress and this time it's in like a shorter length again in a uk 10 this one is 15 pounds it has a bit of structure to the front with the kind of broderie on glaze lacy kind of detail paneling i just really like the design and then last but not least i did pick up this which is a beautiful beige and white gingham dress this has the shared detail paneling here across the kind of top half with the puffy sleeve again not too tight at all on the arms here and again it's cinched in at the top you could wear on shoulder with a nice kind of square neckline or you could equally if the sun's out maybe just pull them down a little bit and wear them off shoulder the sleeves so really really pretty again it has that kind of tiered level smock style super floaty lightweight and comfortable and kind of a bit like a picnic blanket <laughs> but I kind of love it. Let me know if you like this one. I feel like it might be a little bit of a love or hate. So that is everything that I picked up on this occasion. Best believe I am heading back to Primark ASAP especially to check out more of the fashion um, but yeah let me know which were some of your favorite things i picked up give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want more primark calls very very soon from myself i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day whatever you end up doing and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys